It's your job. Oh. You know what? This isn't going to work so well. Don't just lay there. Do something. All right. I guess I got to go through different measures. Yeah, boy, we are underway. She's getting hot. I got some ingots, uh, but I'm going to have to use some other aluminum burner. Boy, that burner's just, uh, yeah, that, that thing's a beast. It took me a minute to get it running right because I got a 1 16th inch hole for the Orpus. <laughs> but it doesn't hold pressure with that uh, regulator too well, but hey, it is what it is, right? They just have a little bit of a slight coating on them that vaporizes off. It doesn't have all the paint and stuff that's in cans to create all the dross. Cans need to be melted down and turned into ingots, then melted again and poured. I better give a safety tip on this one. This here is not a portable toilet, okay? You don't want to sit your backside on there and try to take your good deuce. Unless you're an idiot, then go ahead. Uh, this could easily be considered a uh, a good machine for uh, waxing. You just hop down on there and you, you got yourself a back crack and sack wax all in one. And it won't take long at all. Every so often they got to stop feeding it and let it heat up. Boy, there's a lot of heat coming out of there. Got a good bit of aluminum crucible, about half full, but uh, yeah. Dump the cold aluminum in there cools it off, but it melts quick because it's thin sheets. Most of them didn't haul it in. So we got uh, got two poured. That third one, it didn't go nowhere. But I'm gonna tell you, there's uh, there's something else in this metal. I don't know if it's gonna be more magnesium. It come out of them trunnions. It's either got more magnesium, more zinc, or or uh, nickel. One, I almost want to lean towards nickel, but uh, I'll have to look up what those. I was made of because it's got kind of a light bluish purplish look to it so it's something different it's dense as hell I can tell you that all right well let's see what we got cue the music
I'll see if I can get her out. All right, I got it pretty much cleaned off. This guy's, this stuff looks like a uh, moss in here. There's a reason for that. It was a lot of organics that burned up and created gas. And that is why that looks like that. So this, I'm guessing, may have been somewhere around the queen's chamber. Maybe there were a lot of eggs there. Um, you can see where the slag was, where they come up through the slag. And it's stuck in the aluminum. Now I'll get Amy to hold this for me and I'll show you the, uh, the entire thing as it's set in the ground. Oh, there you go. Wow. And this is just a fraction of the nest. This is not even half of it. This is just a fraction of it. I didn't get nowhere near it half of it because I noticed it when I was digging it up. So there you go it. That's monstrous. It actually went a little bit deeper and uh, I don't think it went any wider. I just think it went deeper. Yeah. So. You don't mind? Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. We got more castings coming up there. One over there. One right there. <laughs> a couple of mamas. So, there will be plenty more to come. This is why I don't like doing around trees because of the roots. Right. But it is a really neat look. Yep. And some of this actually broke off uh, here and there. I know I pulled it in three spots. There's the other one. Didn't even make it down. And these are all the little broken pieces that just fell off. And one broke up there, so yeah. I'm here. That sucks. <laughs>